Stan, I'm delighted to be here. I'm so sorry you can't be with us tomorrow night at the awards. Um, however, I brought the award to you. You are our overall winner. I can't think of a more worthy winner of the Irish Tatler Woman of the Year 2017. Please let me present you with this award. I'm really sorry I can't be with you tonight, but I'm delighted uh, to be able to accept this wonderful award. It is an extraordinary um, honour for me uh, to be Irish Catholic Woman of the Year, and it is obviously a great privilege. But I accept it not for myself, but on behalf of the many people who came to me seeking their rights and seeking justice, and the many hundreds of people that helped me to help so many people gain their rights and gain justice for themselves. And that goes back many years, goes back way back to the 60s and 70s in Kilkenny, where, where so I worked with hundreds of people. And then coming to Dublin and meeting homeless people, and people again gathered around me to help so many hundreds of homeless people to find and make and, and keep a home. And then later, meeting migrants who'd come to Ireland to work who had absolutely no rights and for whom there were no services. And again, so many people gathering around me to help to establish the Immigrant Councils of Ireland, which was a human rights organisation, which helped so many migrants to gain their rights and their rightful place in society, and some of them indeed becoming Irish citizens, including victims of human trafficking who were brought in for into Ireland for sexual exploitation and helping them to, to out of that situation and to have their rightful place here. The people who helped me to establish the uh, Young Social Innovators, which is an organisation that helps thousands of young people to become active citizens in their community. This year there are 6,000 young people who are involved in that organisation. And finally there's the Sanctuary, which I established because I was very aware of how um, hard it is to work on the front line and I wanted to establish a place that would help them to be retain their fire for justice and their fire for human rights and to help them to be again as resilient as the day they started and so that's a place a sanctuary a place of silence a stillness of beauty that when people come here they they not only benefit from the environment, they learn to, to, to meditate, and that kind of quiet space helps them to find that inner resource within them, which is in all of us, that inner stillness, that inner silence, that helps us to be more resourceful. But again, I did that with the help of others. So for all those people, I accept this extraordinary great honour tonight. Thank you.